I'm playing the Wolf Among Us. Um, last time, um, I found out the identity the of was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's uh, whoever the girl it was, um, didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. I want to say a uh, donkey skin girl. Yeah, you didn't see him. I don't remember her from any fable, but yeah. Well, her head's been cut off and put onto display. It was like a warning, possibly from the huntsman. I mean the woodsman. Sorry. Lawrence, Prince Lawrence. Uh, Toad's apartment. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence. After. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. <sighs> right, achievement. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I didn't really get a chance to look at the options, but... Anyway... White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Bigby. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... Fine, relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, it's all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. A cup of tea. Whew. Grown ups, am I right? Uh. Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. A 
let this happen. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. What the boy was faffing about, playing sods and swordfish. Who knows with the lad? That's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I'll cut me hand. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mabberening now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a babel, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Huh. That more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys, toys or something? I mean, who knows? <sighs> if you're gonna say something, out with it. Broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you oh, moved I it. I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Could do a better job dusting, or no? So what happened? What happened? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Look like a shit ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff, now what? It's been the hottest summer in years, Toad, so why would you be making a fire? Stay in this place for more than a spell and a drive to make you think you're in a sorting tundra. I'll knock it off, so what's the fuss? I thought toads can dry out. No, mate, you're thinking of lizards. God, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. Know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. I no, there's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death.
Though most people think they are. Uh huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset about it earlier. He won't say why. Something is going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out. needs a bit of dusting, I suppose. Toad, I know about the lamp. The lamp fell, is all. I bumped it. Coming, coming the, the, the thing. Well, the lamp could not possibly have fallen, Toad. You had it plugged in over here the whole time. Someone ripped the lamp out of the wall and threw the thing. That's what happened, isn't it? Busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. For Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? Why'd you climb in through the window, then? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key. Uh, 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 uh. No. Just what are you on about, mate? I the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Big B, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please, just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? You say, to my face, that you think I'm hiding something from you? Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? <laughs> this is all getting a bit stressful, all right? I have my limit for bullshit, Toad. And I think we reached it ten minutes ago. Now, Dad! you're gonna tell me what's going on here, or I'm gonna start... Dad! Bigby, is this really uh... necessary? Oh. What is it? Something. Either something he knows, or something he's kept, but I won't play any more games with him. Dad? Oh my god. Take off your hat. Bigby, you didn't... He didn't. It was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dame or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. We come barging in, screaming about something a woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a whole morning, I could tell you that. What was he looking for? I don't have a fucking clue, Shadow. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, 
Or Miss White, who'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes. Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here will astonish you, mate. You will merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an ember. <sighs> Fucking hell, of course there is. My luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Don't make it a dilemma. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Okay, everybody. Uh, I'm sorry to kind of cut it off there, but I think this is it for today. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, my name's John. And, uh, yeah, if you like this video, just like and subscribe. Um, well, obviously, I'll be quitting after this uh, dialogue here. Sorry. When you put it that way. Oh, yep. Well, have a good one, guys. See ya.